In today's video we are going to see about varicocele embolization. A varicocele is a collection of varicose veins within the pumpiniform plexus. Secondary to a reflux in the internal spermatic vein. The condition affects 10% to 15% of the general population, however, they are detected in as many as 30% to 40% of men undergoing infertility workup. Indications. Chronic groin pain, other etiologies excluded. Then, infertility and appropriate semen abnormalities. And, recurrent varicocele after surgical repair. Finally, testicular atrophy in a pediatric patient. Contraindications. Severe coagulopathy and, demonstrated severe prior contrast reaction. In detail we'll see the procedure. The catheter is passed into the left renal vein to select the ostium of the left ISV. Then a gentle injection of contrast may be needed, while the patient performs a valsalva maneuver, to ensure seating of the catheter tip in the ISV and for identifying reflux through incompetent valves. After that we'll measure the size of the vein and note the position of all collateral channels, including parallel, colic, hilla, and capsular pathways. And particular care should be taken to avoid vessel spasm, which hinders the ability to proceed with the procedure and obscures collaterals predisposing to a false impression of successful occlusion. And this procedure we will use. Metallic coils and sodium tetradesal sulfate, the 0.035 in or 0.038 in. The metallic coils are deployed within the lower ISV, usually at the level of the inguinal canal. And were we used. A 14 cm platinum nester coil, approximately 20% larger than the estimated diameter of the ISV, is deployed using the anchor technique. And following deployment of a high radial force stainless steel or marae coil. Near total occlusion of the lumen can usually be achieved with two or three coils. A venigram during valsalva maneuver should again be performed. Sluggish flow or non-filling of the pumpiniform plexus will be seen. The catheter is passed into the right renal vein to select the ostium of the right ISV. The metallic coils are deployed within the lower ISV, usually at the level of the inguinal canal. In the end you can see that there is sluggish flow or non-filling of the pumpiniform plexus will be seen.